three, two, one, go. Mark. Mark. Last time on Lawful Stupid. And after Dr. Ryan has spoken to you, William, and said this in your head, it's kind of like the meeting is wrapping up um, and Director Halson looks at you all and says, we'll be getting with you all a little later about expectations and kind of where we go from here. We're, we're going to be revamping the direction of the KNG. Our timeline has moved up. Again, these are all details we'll be filling you and some other teams on as well. Uh, make sure that you get with Agent Sly if there's any other further training you need. She may reach out to you for sp specific training. And, and also feel feel free to to hang out here at KNG for a little while. Go fill out some missions, uh, side stuff, but we'll be getting back to you about what kind of to do next. And he picks up papers. Um, Agent Sly just kind of nods to you all, catching all of your eyes. Um, Dr. Ryan picks up all of these, these uh, scales off the table. She does not catch my eyes. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, Dr. Ryan picks up all of the the scales, puts them in like this uh, leather leather bag or flat bag, cloth bag. It's a bag. Uh, puts it over his shoulder and then kind of timidly walks behind the other two out of this smaller room and they leave the door open. for you. So they just leave us alone in this room? Yeah, it's just a, it's a very empty room. It's got a, a table and chairs. But there's like no other big wigs left. No, just you three. I I look at the other two. That was weird. Super weird, right? Yeah, just a bit. And then Miss B's gonna like pinch the bridge of her nose, just like great. This is a lot. <laughs> hmm. Wait, who else is in here? I didn't <laughs> recognize that. Who the fuck was Dr. Enoch? Show yourself. <laughs> show oh, yourself. Oh, oh, hey guys. Um, I'm sorry. I just left a pencil in here, and he comes and grabs the pencil that was left on the table, and he heads out. That wasn't Dr. I said Dr. Enoch. That's a different. They're the That's same Dr. person. E. They're all doctors are nerds. <laughs> okay. I see. I see. I'm fucked up. You're right. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good point. We've learned our lesson. Yep. You never expect to. See what? Uh, uh, Lucian says aloud the words. Lacan did. Do I win? <laughs> you're transported, you tran like you were transported back to the. So you you're transported to a place where it's like this island on the sea. It's like, but it's like a collaboration of ships, and it is just being bombarded oh, right fuck now. Oh, Lacan did. Lacan did. Lacan did. And <laughs> you're it's a and you're back in this imagine. room <laughs> with a table in it. Okay. You. That keeps happening to me. Mm. Is this bad DMing when I do that? Is, is that okay when I do that? Because no, I just really a, find joy. It's literally a crime. <laughs> it's literally the police are on their way. <laughs> yeah, we voted on it. It's a problem. <laughs> uh, um, okay, anyways. Uh, huh. Anybody else find it weird that they brought us in here, showed us some dragon scales, and then semi-threatened us about it? I, uh, yeah, I didn't like that particularly. I also feel like they were lying to us, or at least not telling us the whole truth. And also, I just feel yucky. Doesn't it feel yucky? Yeah, not a big fan. And the, the nightmare train? Large pass. Yeah. What was that about? I mean, it's been a while, and I was just beginning to recover and heal from it. But yeah. Well, they did explain that one. Well, we should right. look at Was that in a welcome thing. package that I didn't get? No, they actually. Because I don't remember that ex explanation. No, I didn't get the us. welcome packet. She's going to take out a pen from her pocket and start working on the paperwork they just gave her. <laughs> Oh wait, they gave us paperwork? They did give her Yeah, they did give us back. paperwork. <laughs> well William had just tossed it aside apparently. Just like nah. My, I don't no. do any of my own paperwork. This is a group I'm, project. I'm doing... I don't yeah. <laughs> Lucian Perfect. looks apologetically pointing to his blindfold, like I'd love to help, but uh... Yeah, good you know what's a good question. Um sometimes your eyes work, sometimes they don't. You wanna, do you wanna talk about that? Oh they always work. 
So why do you cover them up with a blindfold? Um, well, I gotta, in order to focus on the light that I can make inside of myself, I have to block out all of the other light so I can focus inward and do that. So it's kind of like I have to put this on to recharge. Hmm. Block you know, out that's, I, that's actually. Yeah, it blocks out distractions. It just, it lets, it really helps me. I'm always, so basically anytime you think that I might be like goofing off or spacing out, I'm really actually just in a deep meditative stance, uh, regaining my inner light so that I can do my cool things that I can do now. Um, definitely not just a space case. That would be ridiculous. That's impressive. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. And here you are controlling your inner light yeah. this whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can walk and drink brandy at the same time. A totally different set of skills, my dear. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that Will can not do while drinking brandy at the same time. That's a fact. It's, he it's a, it's a... can. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No, Devin, go ahead. How does that go? You're it doesn't, the DM. It doesn't go well, and it doesn't end well. He it starts off fun. He can fight with Brandy. He can. He can t <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> pretty much go it. ahead, Devin. I started down. They're all I hear shoes with Brandy. <laughs> They're all, you know, every line's going to rhyme. That's it. That we're done here. <laughs> oh, um. Okay. Well, I I do um that Doctor Brian there. He said we should meet him in his laboratory to it talk about like um. Rhine. No, oh, I apologize. Like a rhine. All this talk of brandy. Um. Yeah. No. He Doctor Ryan said we should meet him in his office or his laboratory. Labo laboratory. Excuse me. Uh. To, to discuss these dragon scales. He said it was super weird that I um I reacted to the dragon scales. Yeah, that did seem super weird. We should definitely handle that. Yeah, and yeah. I, I definitely know where his his laboratory is. Yeah, so. we've been there before in the welcome packet. <laughs> there was a map. <laughs> we know where the, the Marauders we map we were given map. in the welcome packet. Yeah. My favorite line. We've been there in the welcome packet. <laughs> hey. No, you you I just it was an it was it was an odd pause, I'll grant you, but it's been there. We we have been there before in the welcome packet pause. There is a map to the danger. That's what I said. But I admit it was a strange pause. That's my that's on me. And I have to live with it forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Well, Miss B is just going to get up from her seat and start going. Uh, to the laboratory well, or just, just silently walking away? To the laboratory. That's where we're going. Oh. You guys just but sit I, and dwaddle. And then yeah. she'll like pause at the doorway and like put her hand on I, the door frame and like hold the bridge of her nose again. Just kind of like... I, ugh. William will follow her and, and say, I thought we all agreed that you're our leader, so it's it's... It makes sense that we can't do anything without you, Miss P. And Lucian comes up on the other side and puts a hand on her shoulder, casting Cure Wounds. Yeah, we'll, we'll do whatever you say. You're the boss of me, personally. <laughs> Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> Cure Wounds. I was like... <laughs> Did you have a headache? You're the boss of me, personally, Lucian. <laughs> Here, take Cure Wounds. <laughs> You have a headache. I can't <laughs> move it away from you. Uh, so like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can. I, nothing says that you. stress can't cause wounds, and I, I can't cure them. I can cure stress. <laughs> R rules is written. Mm. Uh, lead the way. <laughs> What's your call, Devin? How's no, that doesn't work. Listen, I would use cure wounds on my wife's headaches if she had those. That does not work. I didn't know that you could cast spells, Devin. He's a cleric. Well, kind of a cleric. Kind of. Just cut that yeah. out, James. Never seen to hear that. It. Yeah, she'll like lean on him. It was like, like a moment of relief. And then she kind of like just drops to her knees, like holding her head in her hands. She's like, no, it's. That's a bad one. 
Is this is this what they call a migraine? <laughs> I can't Maybe an anger again. I don't know what else to do. What? You, are you what? okay? It, give, give me a second. Did you drink too much? I didn't know that was a thing. I... She'll like shake her head and be like, no, I yeah. don't I don't drink. And then mm. Maybe she'll like help. sigh and like it's it it passed. I'm good. I'm good. Um, sorry. I don't know. I don't know. You should probably see a doctor. In fact, we're going to see one. Just tell him your your head is has a wild growth in it, and he'll check it out. Let's see. I want you to be really careful. This feels like some kind of plot hook that you were deli- that you were contracted <laughs> to deliver on behalf of some higher agency, and those can be really dangerous. <laughs> So I want you to drink lots of water. I've seen them kill people before. <laughs> yeah. Just drink a lot I died, actually. Water. I forgot about that. Drink lots of water. Whatever, whatever, died. Whatever you do, we all don't did. split the party. Yeah. Whatever you do, Let's stay not split next the party. to one of us. Just always all together all the time. Every room. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's going to be wonderful. Group bonding experience. It's the only way to keep it safe. That's a good point. <laughs> uh... uh so we're there now, sure. right? The laboratory, we're just there. Um, I, I don't want Lucian to have to cast burial on 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 Miss, on Miss B. That seems terrible. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah, I, have spare the dying I have spared the dying into the cantrip. So as long as I'm as long as I'm always touching you, you can never die for more than six. Years. Now we know why you hold her there hand all the time. Go. You're just worried about her. <laughs> Constantly yeah. casting spare the dying. Yeah. <laughs> just check it. Just in case. Don't yeah. die. I can't. I can't take it if you die. <laughs> every, every every six seconds, Miss B's heart like does a double beat. <laughs> oh, change! I know you got a sound effect for that. That's like awesome. Please. What the hell? It's just he just steals it from Doctor Who. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. You do, just do the... make your way. Oh, go ahead, Avon. Oh, well, I was just gonna say you could just do the anime thing where they go ba dum ba dum. <laughs> we need some more anime. Oh, the Death Note one too, yes. right? In that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm sorry, Miss B, did you want to be more dramatic for a second before we move on? But... Yeah, just fall to the ground, okay. uh, hand back on her head, <laughs> like, okay. I'm passed out. Fuck, oh, no, I got the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll get up and uh, uh, dust off her uh, dress skirt thing and be ready to go. <laughs> yeah, no need to dust off here. This place is immaculately clean. Get the wrinkles that. out. Yes, you will. Whatever need to do motion. That. Yeah. That. And she'll just continue on like nothing had happened. Like, nope, I'm fine. It's all good. Record scratch. But something did. Something um, and did so happen. you're gonna carry on to <laughs> uh you were through the KNG. I don't know if there's anywhere else you want to visit before you head to the laboratory. We're gonna call it that from now on. And if not, we'll just we'll arrive there. The laboratory. I, I refuse to be cajoled into your nonsense. <laughs> this is a serious podcast. No, no, yeah. if we uh, split the party, Miss B is going to die, so I feel like the smart sense, go to the laboratory. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you arrive at the laboratory, um, and there are some windows that are, are peering into this room. It's very laboratory-esque with lots of tables and beakers and glasses and some machinery off to one side that has a large amount of liquid, green liquid in it. Uh, it's like a cylinder shape. Um, there is like... Um, against one wall like a flat almost like like a bathtub but in it is like a red liquid and people seem to be dipping things into that cleaning it uh, moving around so there's a lot of people here Uh, they're all wearing uh, protective coats and goggles Uh, some have like the full suits on like hoods and they're dealing with like uh, a forge in another spot so just a lot of different things going on being tested on here do i see dr ryan uh, you don't see him in this first room, but you see that there is a doorway. As you walk in, if you were to keep walking straight and not go into the room, there's another doorway that leads on beyond this room. I do. I, I walk I walk like I own the place to this place. Yep. Because I do. Okay. It's my house. My little and <laughs> as you walk through, you have to walk through like some of those like plastic flaps uh, kind of thing. So it's not like a, a, a hard structure door. And you walk through, and it's much quieter it's in this sanitary. space. Yes. And it, it's very clean. Uh, everything is white here, uh, and the, uh, the doctors here all have on like lab coats that are also freshly looked, freshly cleaned and pressed. 
and they're working much more meticulously on, on different things uh, in various areas of this room. I I press uh, fuck me. I'm gonna get rid of that spell. Um, I press tissue. T- t- Shane, save me. I can't say this word. Face. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. I do that on all of our clothes to make sure we are spotless. He, does, he also does this uh, every day. When, when he, if he shows the word, he calls oh. and he goes, Shane, quick! <laughs> yeah, I'm like, he's, Shane's like, oh, I fucking just woke up. Yeah, but it was important. Yeah, that's fair. You know. Uh, it's also, so you're clean. You're immediately clean. You seem much cleaner, uh, more respectable as you walk into this room. And Dr. Ryan is looking at a large tank, and there is some kind of weird lizard rat mix of a creature um, that's kind of just running around the bottom of it. And he's kind of just studying it, arms behind his back as he peeks into it, pushes his glasses up, kind of nods approvingly for whatever reason, and then stands up and, and notices you all come in. Oh, oh I'm so glad you could you could make it. Yeah, it's a busy schedule, but you know I'd fit you in. Oh, okay. Um, uh, follow follow me this way. Sure. And he walks through yet it's another door. It's a dark room that says don't follow you? That seems weird. He flips the <laughs> sign over. It says death and destruction, and he flips it, and it says welcome. No, that's much better. Thank you. Uh, but you walk into mm-hmm. what looks like, is obviously like an office space. Um he has a, a large desk and he walks behind it and sits down and he has three files kind of on a, on a desk in front of him. And he says, oh, please, please sit down. And three chairs uh, are in front of this desk. No windows in I'll this take place. The, I'll take the far left chair. I'll take the middle. I can't see them, so I sit wherever I'm sat. I trip over. Everything in this room. <laughs> Miss G- B uh, guides him <laughs> to this chair. C and I elf, you know? Yep. Everybody's got one. Very fast. Oh, do, you get, do you get a cute vest for that? Is it like a neon vest? And like paperwork? Uh, no, it's like. Did you get her something, Lucy? Yellow stripes on a vest. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Just, oh, yeah. It's actually it's, it's a literal yellow jacket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> He says, um, I- I'm sure you, you have lots of questions, so I'll let you begin. Good. Um, so the, the dragon scale that I touched, and it uh, went to cuckoo nest. That didn't seem normal. Uh, and he to, reached, uh, pontificate he on that? into his bag, and he pulls out the red one, and he hands it to you once more. He says, I tr- try this one more time. Uh, he looks at the party, looks... Uh, slowly, carefully, and then he snatches it. As soon as you touch it, uh, it begins Ooh. to to glow once again, uh, kind of pulsing almost at this point. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of holds steady, whatever that that mm. you know intensity is of that thing. Um, Does it feel intense to me, or is it just glowing? It doesn't feel intense to you, no. Okay. Hmm. I set it down. Does it dwell? If are you letting go of it? Yeah, I, I set it on the table without. No, it it, it goes back to its sort. I of pick it back up. Oh, this is a pretty again. cool nightlight. If you if you hold the nightlight, I, I suppose, and then he kind of reaches over to take it from you, as like almost gesturing if he can. He doesn't want to be rude. Mm. Mm. I I think it should stay with me. It it has chosen its rightful owner. I, I'm sorry, I can't. And he mm. now. He'll try attempt to just kind of take. No, it. I'll give it back to him. I'm not gonna like be a dick about it this time. This um, and he for now sets it back for down, now. and he says, "Um, I just don't know what this is. I, I this hmm. is new to me." And he he kind of opens up your the, the the folder in front of you, mm-hmm. and begins to like write something. Uh, uh William illegible. like leans over. Can they see? It's what, illegible. What? It is the worst chicken scratch. It looks like it's almost in a different language. Do you know, I wasn't sure if you were a doctor, but now I'm certain. Oh, why is that? <laughs> uh, your, your penmanship. Oh, it uh, yeah. matches a doctor's. Oh, well, they have their you. own like um, script. Mm. Uh, in fact, folder. most say it's uh, uh, illegible unless you're a doctor. That's true. Our own language. These can't. Lucian is gonna. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> gesture to William again by pointing to his head. I I give him the uh the old German. Oh yes. What what can I do for you? Are you gonna tell him about Esh or not? Mm, I'm gonna see what he says first. He's reading my file, I'm making notes. I want to know what he knows first. I think that he doesn't know because he he says he doesn't get it. But I think that if you told him about Eshi, then he would get it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Fine. It's not it's not that big of a secret. Some people already know. I think so. Like that guy with a terrible name. Yeah, he knows. Who? Yeah. Exactly. It's fine. No! <laughs> uh, uh, do doctor. Um. You have no idea why these scales are reacting. Do they have they never glowed before? Not in my recent lifetime. Uh, hmm. Your recent lifetime you've got multiple of those? You know, the thing is, it, it's very you know when you woke up here and you weren't quite sure maybe how you got here? I can give you some of those cookies that uh, gives you no, new memories. No, I've had those. Those are great. She does really good. But it's not like that. It's I'm really old, but not because I've lived mm -hmm. for so long. If you didn't know, I, I'm a KNG asset myself. Um, I'm, I fall in the category of of being a KNG asset. I mm. was an effect of the blossoming. When, when the powers, dragon powers exploded and, and pushed everything to different places, I, now I'm here. Oh, Lucian's going to raise his hand up above his head. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. You, you don't have to raise your hand. Uh, I do. Uh, so when you say the blossoming, if you could just tell me what that is, like, pretend I'd never heard of it. it you know, a lot of people, honestly, have never really heard of it. Um there's not a whole lot known except that there was a time when the world existed with dragons, magic, and, and things were going well, but then people started abusing it, and the gods didn't like it because the gods you know, were the dragons in, in that form on, on Nova Terra. Um, and they began to experience the sickness that you were told about. You know, People were getting, who used magic were getting sick, and then people Those tried to fix it. The sleepers. Yes, yes. And and mm. I know that I was on a team who tried to fix it. And that's the last thing I remember. That's the, that's pre that's that's PB. That's pre blossom. Pre blossom. And now and then I mm. I, I kind of wake up. I mean, I, this organization's been around for a really long time. I've been here for 300 years. I don't age. I don't my body doesn't break down. I, I What race does he appear to be? Yeah, uh, he appears to be a human, and, the, and I don't. You know what? Here's what I'll give you: is he, he's got kind of like almost pointed ears, but not quite. Um, okay. And as pointy what, as a human's ear gets, <laughs> you know, you know, how yeah. a human's ears are pointy. Sometimes no, human's so, ears can get pretty pointy. Um, I would say that it, Dwayne will know, or William will know, that this individual is uh, a Kalistar. Oh, I see. So oh, he doesn't yeah, have distinctive. Cool hair eyes like i no no okay no oh interesting so he's like a cow star but he's he's lacking some some markings yeah see. so he's got so remember his his hair is like uh black pulled back in a ponytail that goes down about to his mid shoulders and it's it's like a greasy black like unkempt and so mm -hmm. that is kind of what he looks mm -hmm. like um it's like a young mm -hmm. hojo interesting um all right. Well, if you if you are not really sure about that, then um, I suppose I have some news for you. Um, this pen. And he pulls out his pen. Uh, That's a nice be... pen. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's really nice. The Your right is wonderful. I take off the cap and I start writing on his desk. What? Uh, says... No. What are you What are you doing? Stop. No, this no. is no, no. rich mahogany. Just... Yeah, that's fine. It's, I'll clean it up later. Uh, and I'm like writing an intense mathematical formula that doesn't mean shit. And then I put the cap on it and then uh, clean that up with magic. And then I say, uh, so uh, Eshi, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Eshi is a uh, link to me and magical and uh, basically a god. Um, she's in this pen. That's oh. probably why I can do this. That's Open why I can light older. up your dragon scale. 
Could you uh, tell me the name you think you uh, one more time? Uh, the person in his pen's name is Eshi. And spell it just to be sure. IT. Uh, <laughs> Echo Sierra Hotel Echo. Echo Sierra Hotel Eshi. Um, you, you don't seem to, to mean the mortal. Hey, Will, can you make Eshi come out of the pen so he can stop talking? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, Eshi, come on out here and show yourself to this uh, doctor. Don't mind. It, yeah, it's not weird. Uh, are you are you sure that's a good idea? Not really, but I mean, what's it going to do? He's a nerd. I say that out loud. <laughs> Lucian is not in agreement. <laughs> Um, nice and then as she, as she begins to materialize, like sort of a, a red hue begins uh, to stand next to the left of you. Uh, William, she's standing. Uh, In case you're wondering, she was there the whole time, Doctor. And she stands about 5'11", and so she's, she's sort of just like a red glowing, but you can tell the shape of her anyways, and he is uh, breathless, speechless, hmm. in awe. <laughs> I'm gonna take that dragon scale now. Um, uh, well, well, actually, you could touch the dragon scale. Maybe as you, know. so the the scale begins to flicker once more, as Eshi is now apart from you, and it's but it's not like going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Miss, and now Miss B has a headache. What about Doctor? Fix Miss B. I, I, it's a headache. No, I'm fine. I just I need like it's, it's a Tylenol. Up, that's fine. fine. It's probably your eyes. It's probably how it's started. I don't know what's it's what's going on. This is glue. very strange to me. Um, no, yeah, I didn't. So, well, problem solved. Problem. You understand everything now. Oh yeah, sure. I hand it to Miss B. He like squints all his glasses. <laughs> so you what? You're wearing the glasses now? <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing just like it does red tinted. For you. You're red tinted. This would help. No, it does. It it does not. It does not help you, Miss B. Oh, no. What hell? She'll just close her, her eyes and hand it back. Don't you even? I get it. She still has a headache, but now her headache is not nearly as bad. But the light um, sensitivity, the 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 scale continues to flicker. Just kind of fine. I'll put my glasses back. off and on. Mm -hmm. He says, "What? How did you? Where did this come from? What? How did she? And you? Well, first of all, it's not of this. She has her own pronouns. You can say she." How did she's she? A, she's a spirit, mum. Spirit, in you, in the in pin. Uh, well, it's very simple, Doctor. It's I would explain the magic to you, but it doesn't seem like you have the math for it. Uh, but to dumb it down, I picked up the pen. I, I don't. I... You want to try it? Yeah, go ahead. Y yes, and he takes the pen. Um, and kind of just yeah. looks it over. Yeah. Told you, didn't have the math for it. It's fine. Hand it back. Okay. It's well, I. It seems that the spirit obviously is what is connected to this scale, which makes sense because Eshi mm -hmm. is the servant of Hephaestus. Hephaestus is was was the red dragon. This obviously his uh, that's scale. That's the stuff that is in your walls, right? Uh, no, that's asbestos. This is Hephaestus. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Who's smart now? <laughs> um, <laughs> and so now we've got this scale. So we need to find Doctor Tough Talk and me. Fuck it. You got zinged. You got zinged and you got zinged and you have to live with it. You got zinged and Raz for the you rest of your life. You can never go home. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on. Um, Brandy just tastes like water now. Yeah. After that round. Oh no. Temperance. You press the dead you take it to taste like water every okay. time. Again. No. What we do know is, is we need to find the, the other scales. And I, I don't know if if the boss has really gone the right way about that. Um, I'm pretty sure if I had that scale, I could find the other ones, like a, like a, magic, I, like a magic trick, you know, like a I, homing beacon, like, I don't know like if an that, Apple Air tag type works. of thing. What you're looking for is an area wrought with, with, with magic, something... Um, in areas where you can see that development or, or, or the vast output of this magic has really grown an area or, or people are thriving. It, it's a good thing. It can be. Um, 
So I have red. Yeah, red I'm missing three list? scales. Which ones are you missing? Right, that's important for for me to know. Yeah, let me just make sure I got these colors right because I know that when people go back and listen to this, they're going to. Crazy yeah, I'm colorblind, so it's important that you tell me what the colors are. That's true. Hold on one second, James. I'm sorry. Uh, really need to apologize to you watching the live video. I know. Well, it, it, no, I'm if you made it this yeah. far, chances yeah. are you're going to stick with us, yeah, and thank fine. you for that. Yeah, appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. And I don't. I mean, it's not like we're not easy on the eyes. So. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong there. <laughs> That's a fine weight. There are worse things. I'm just saying. There are better things too, but there are there several are better things. Worse things. I fucking hate. I fucking hate you both. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so you see on the table, obviously, that you have the red, blue, green, uh, and he says that he oh, is he missing the black scale, the bronze scale, and the white scale. We just we just mixing in. Metallics in here, huh? Yes. Mm. Mm. Onyx, bronze, and ivory. Oh, ivory is not a fucking metal. Well, I assume. Sounds good. That yep. Miss B has that all written down. <laughs> in the packet. In the paperwork. <laughs> and in the, the paperwork. paperwork. She's like, 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 fucking. They're like, in taking this paperwork. What are all these notes about dragon scales? Oh, uh, can I just have that one back? I actually need that back. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, yes. Okay. So, I do have sorry, a question. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned that you found the other ones with great source of magic and most good things happening around. Did is there any like certain effects that they had? Things tend to thrive uh, with the dragon scales, uh, but things that maybe sometimes aren't meant for magic or are affected in a different way. I, I don't know quite else how to say. I, I'm not sure what you can expect, and you may have to do some digging to find them. But the fact that people can still use the, the, the type of malic, like healers, means that it exists. Mm. I guess we'll have uh, to go to the library. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we've got to go to these places with uh, magic. Lots of magic. Um, and you don't have any real suggestions of where we should go. I mean, probably the best place to start start maybe Zalens. they've been thriving for a long time and no one's really challenged them well right, one more time can you just pronounce that for me like i've never heard of it yeah Zalens. Uh, Zalens. uh have i ever heard of that can is there a role of some you kind, you or? would have heard of it um it, i okay. mean like it's probably a city you've traveled to um to do you give me like a politics. one sentence summary that i can make william sound really smart off of this town is a magnet for business. Quite literally, the entire town has some form of like even the walls are magnetic, and that's how oh, they use all the yeah, controlling. So I've, I've been there often. Uh, you know, typically it's uh, some trade or emissary job, uh, the worst of the jobs, actually. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. So it's, it's an okay city if, if you're into that kind of thing. If you're into that kind of thing, yeah, so I was going to say. No, good for Jinx. a great mind sinker like so uh, nope that's not how that works i just i'll just take this scale with me and we'll use it for a home no, I'm sorry, like a, like I, a... I can't let you use that any, any well he, hmm. you didn't have it he kind of just stuffs it away further <laughs> into his bag on his side is it still glowing because yes. that's just uh, dad you don't uh, that you don't want to put that in your chassis pocket maybe just like in a box when you say chassis might, uh, yeah, uh, it's I mean Beep both. Boop. Um, <laughs> Beep boop, um <laughs> you may uh you just may not want to put that in your pants pocket. That's uh, uh okay. Uh you save yourself a your urologist trip. 
and he turns and puts it into like a safe type thing and then oh, that's that. better oh, what's the combination of that safe 69 it's more than okay. three numbers zero six nine <laughs> 69, 69, 69. Yeah. We got a lot of left and right. Sorry. I, just hit the same number. Uh, Joey in the break room told me that joke, and I've been, I just, that was the only yeah, time I could great. use it. No one ever asked me the combination. It's awesome. Safe, so. that's, I'm not a big fan of that. So he opens the middle folder and takes guy. a couple notes. <laughs> Let me shut hmm. that. Okay. So yeah, I okay. guess. I guess this is this is our business, and now we just go. What was it? Downtime now, Devin? You tell me. Yeah. So you guys can Probably definitely leveled, go. Right? Um. <laughs> now that we're going to, now that we've talked to some people, we leveled no, up, bro. No, I mean we went on a whole adventure. <laughs> we just did a whole adventure. You actually lose a level. We did the whole. Combat. Yeah. Whoa. You didn't sleep the entire time. time. You didn't we sleep. Fought, the entire time. Yeah. I mean, but we got second. We, we got we second in that one thing. Train. We, yeah. God, if only we would have. <laughs> Well, the nightmare train was kind of that's a crazy train. Um, we fought that's crazy. giants it... and hey, well... Jen, just I request that when we're on that train, you find some sweet alternate version of crazy train, or maybe just play with <laughs> four seconds of it, so we're not like in trouble. I so I had I had the the distinct fear that you guys would call it and know it as the soul train, but you didn't, and now that you didn't, the time has passed. It is over. No, it's a crazy train. It's the nightmare, it's a nightmare train. train. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, you can go into some downtime if you would like. Well, misery asked to talk to us after we were done too, but we went straight to the nerd. Oh, you did, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he has a dr- yeah. We should go talk to misery. Good point, Miss B. As a group, you're always misbehaving, but today you're on point. Thank you. You're welcome. She will took oh, away her own paperwork. <laughs> and was like, well, if Great. that's all, Dr. Ryan, then we'll be off. This, this, oh, oh, this, um, the, you, I just remembered you might also try uh, Mapelli. Uh, no one's been there in a long time that I know of. Even, even our agents haven't been there in quite a while. Um, they, they don't like to be bothered, but we're noticing some surges and some strange activity there as well. Um, like earthquakes, that kind of thing, and it's centered there. So uh, maybe nothing, maybe worth worth your time and checking out. Good point. So just a couple us, plot uh, points to, the, to the go The bronze off and white scale, presumably. Uh, you want to give us that black scale's location? I, I wish I wish I could, and then I would just go myself. Right. The warrior I am. You're a great warrior, William I, Snickers. Don't don't I look look like it? And he points uh, to like hey. a sword that's on the like hanging up. It's way too big for him. A passive insight's like a million. How how am I feeling about that? Yeah. His you ever had same. spaghetti? His same. his arms kind of look like that. Yeah, same. B- a very beefy. Uh, that's how I no, no, not not the meaty part of spaghetti, the noodly part. Mm. Oh, just so, like one of those. One. Yeah. Noodle. Yeah. Yeah. All right, William exits. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna see misery. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can find misery in the bar, actually. You sure can. <laughs> I don't really brother. do. Preach it, brother. At the, bo- <laughs> at the bottom she, of the bottle. Thanks. But she's sir. actually she's sitting at a table. There's some like light jazz playing on the stage tonight or today, whatever time it is. Light. I love light jazz. And yeah, the mood is, is very. Hit that light jazz. Yeah, hit the light. I bet it's really good right now, you guys. I bet it's so yeah. good right yeah, I now. I feel it. I bet this yeah. is music that like you could get busy to. Yes. <laughs> hmm. This I is gonna it. make a weird thing. It's for funny because like I, out of the, out of the corner of Avon screen, I can see James. And I'm just like I'm just talking to him in the future. <laughs> um, and and she she is just she has um what you can tell is a cup of coffee. You still see the steam rising off the cup. And she's doing that two handhold thing where it's very close, and she's just taking in the music, just enjoying it. And the bar is not particularly full uh, on this at this time. Hi, misery. Oh, welcome back. Good Thank to see you. you. Well, pulls his blindfold off. It's good to see you. <laughs> it is a delight to see you, my child. How have you been? My eyes glow now. They always did. 
How you been? What have you been doing since we've been gone? No, oh, you know, keep keeping the place running. <laughs> it's 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 the same old, same old. Cool, 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 cool. Tracking your improvements, and you've been doing very well, all three of you. Cool, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I good. Like, I feel like uh, with that last thing we just did, um, yeah, we got like promoted. Yeah, we, yeah, we got promoted. Look at look at my hey, misery. Look, I got promoted. As you should have. Oh, you're facing something we sh- haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, I fear for my life, Grace. Yeah, it does not seem like fun. Yeah, they're very dangerous. I'm frightened constantly. As he sits with us. I haven't slept in. I haven't slept since I saw my first sleeper. I think it's why they call them that. <laughs> Seal your sleep forever. Anyway, you wanted to see us when we were done with the briefing? Oh, yeah. So let me finish this this cup of coffee. And she kind of, there's only about half left, and she finishes it down. She says, I'd like you to uh, follow me, please. Okay. Yeah, of course. And she leads you um, up the elevator outside of the, the, act, the school, on the, the grounds of the school. Kind of where you're out in the the gardens, where where uh, field trip loves to go. Yep. <laughs> and misery, can we have clouds outside today? It's a beautiful. And she pulls you. She brings you into the garden. Like there's that one entrance into the vast garden that you can go in and work where Miss B has been. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see Dean come over as well. Um, I don't know if you say anything to him. But there's Dean. Er- Herb Dean. Dean the Dean. Mister Dean, she'll she'll wave hello. He's, he's beekeeper Dean, and he's wearing a beekeeping suit. He always is. He's got the beekeeping suit on. He's like, oh, hey, uh, it's good to see you. Um, what are you guys up to? And, and Misery's voice changes. And she says, Dean, no time now. We must we follow me. And so you guys follow a trail. Also, also Dean? And Dean does too. <laughs> okay. She and, got um, mom voice. I don't know who Dean is. You haven't met Dean beekeeper. Now. Um, I don't trust him. Who, who would want to keep a bee? <laughs> they're so they're meant to be free. She never want to give them up. Uh, and yeah, she but that's, you. that's how you prove your love to them by letting them go. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> if you ever love anything, you have to let it go. And it comes back and stings you. Well, then it'll, then, just then you know because it, it'll die. You know it's gonna. <laughs> it was meant to be. It was meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. be. You can't get around it. She walks you back through a series of, of, of over hedges and through flowers and past fields. And you're walking for about five minutes. And that's the extent of my descriptors you get. And she stops and she looks around. There's no one around. And she says, Have you been contacted? Yes. By who? Um. It, I don't know. It wasn't wearing its own face. I don't, I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Never mind. <laughs> I've been having yeah, we, did, uh, we did, we did run into a fortune telling wall. That was interesting. No, that's, remember when Dr. Enoch, like, I mean, remember when. Oh, that's our right. Friend yeah. Wink, um, yeah. I already heard weird. you say his name. It was Dr. Enoch. Fuck. Uh, I mean, oh, shoot. the possessed I mean, guy. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, shit. I mean, shoot. Uh, Lucian, watch your language. Yeah, you're on my mom. We're around misery. Uh, you're on my mom. Uh, We're around misery. Misery's on my mom. Uh, She's like grandma. We don't. You're right. I'm sorry. Um, so he, his eyes glowed, and he gave us a prophetic message of doom. It was very scary. I'm sorry. What? What did he say? Said not to trust the KNG. <laughs> I've been living with it this whole time. That's William gives Lucian a look. It said, Why are we down? I said, Don't trust the KNG. It said, Oh, it said that we would we had to meet him in the tower. I'm sorry. <laughs> Miss B is just going to pat Lucian's back, emotion. but watch Misery. I'm sorry, Misery. <laughs> Mr. He's not allowed <laughs> to drink anymore, clearly. Clearly. I'm sober as a judge, and you know it. Hmm. Judge is not very sober. Not around here. 
I'm sober as a bird then, motherfucker. I got I got different colorful euphemisms. Have you seen them fly? Like it's up and down, it's all over the place. Not a anyways. Um and she looks you on. What is misery's said, reaction? She <laughs> she puts one hand out onto Lucian's shoulder. And she says, Calm down, son. It's not that bad. She says, So don't trust the the K and G, huh? Yeah, but it's William starts you drinking just, from his you just patted me on the shoulder and told me sorry, did I interrupt you, Wayne? I apologize. No, nah, I just, just gotta start drinking. Okay. While this awkward moment starts. <laughs> Uh, well, see, the thing is that um, you told me that I shouldn't worry and that everything's going to be okay, but you're kind of the KNG. Because I'm not supposed to trust you when you go here. I want you all to listen to me and listen closely. Something is going on here. I've been in the KNG for some time now. But to watch them, to, to wait until whatever is supposed to happen, happens. And I think it has something to do with you three. So we continue to watch and we continue to wait. And she looks over at Dean uh, and Dean takes his hat off. He says, yeah, yeah, we, uh, um, we're, we're just trying to figure out what, uh, what, uh, what's going on here. And so, uh, Miss B, um, I, I appreciate your... Um, partnership and and being here and we're just going to make sure you guys are safe is he a you should describe him Devin because is he, the other is he, boys is, haven't really met him is he a, a stuttering bashful beekeeper because if so he's my new favorite started out of romance and <laughs> I feel a way about it uh, let's see so he's he's a sun elf so he's got like a, um, an orangey skin a sunny disposition and a sunny disposition. He he's very delicate in nature. Loves uh, sunny D. Loves nature. Sunny and D. he also has like not at this time, but you will see. He has a, a, a set uh, like a pack of bees. What do you call it? What do you call a group of bees? A hive. A swarm. A swarm. We work as swarm well. of bees. Mm -hmm. Um, that that is his familiar. But at this time, he he's just got and sort of like a short white hair. And I'm I'm sure I'm misdescribing him from last time. But that's what he looks like. Adorable. And he's he's pretty handsome. Um, we've, established, we've, established, <laughs> we've established that Lucian is a nine. How how we feeling about this boy? He's a he's also a nine. Why is every young man a nine? Why is your fantasy <laughs> world full of sexy young men? Because I'm just living vicariously. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Finally. I appreciate it, Mr. Dean, for looking out for us. What what did Wait. what did Dr. Ryan talk to you about? Dragon. Uh hey, can I can Lucian infer that because Miss B calls him Mr. Dean, that he might actually be older than Miss B? I mean you don't know. He looks very young. I'm saying, well, can I infer that with my how, insight? I don't how do you how do you infer for if he doesn't, he doesn't have like wrinkles, that? he doesn't have like no, I'm telling you, but I'm the way that Miss B is addressing him is an interpersonal connection, and based on that interpersonal connection, can I glean? No, she she is older than he is, just for your knowledge. She, well, I didn't even know that. She's Mark, very thank respectful. You, thank you for the secret treasure. I thought Mr. Dean was older than her. <laughs> no. See, now that's the thing we needed to know. He's now, just in a position of authority. That's why you call him Mr. He introduced himself as Mr. Dean. That's also a good reason to call him that. That is a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> you should call him by the way they introduce themselves. World. Hey, uh, so... Yes, we talked about dragons. There was a scale as she was there, as she made the scale glow. Wait, say that last part again. Uh, as she made did you not tell as she, William, we're, did you tell no one? First of all, I... Just... We don't tell each other secrets. And second of all, um, but you talk to her all the time in our presence. I thought this was just yeah. Fun. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. People just think I'm psychotic. Um, uh, misery and uh, Dean. Uh, 
who the fuck are you? If you don't trust the K and G and you're watching everyone, hold on. He looks at William and Miss B. Hold, we don't William. trust K and G. I sorry, yeah, he's fucking drunk. He looks at Miss B and Lucian and says, Hold on. You don't trust the K and G. They say they're watching them, and you immediately start spilling my secrets. But you, you guys are terrible spies. I, you talk to her all the time. How's that a secret? We, I was I'm, not recruited for my subtlety, sir. Yeah, no, got that. It's mostly your your young boyish looks and your ability to talk about yourself in the third person. I have but, other qualities. Of I I put a mustache on you with um, minor illusion. Listen, oh, yeah. uh, this is no, very it's, weird. It's for me. Misery is to go. Misery, who are, who do you work for? Who does number two work for? I, I asked the I question. It's a fair question, Misery. Let me start by saying. I take your mustache. We have <laughs> to. We have to put on a face for a while. It's too soon to let anyone know that we know. We have to be in the right spot. The dragon scales are a must. We need to find those first. You, I no, absolutely not. You tell me, I I'm not I'm not going to, I'm not double agenting with someone I don't know. And, and and misery to be just super fair with everybody involved. I know now, so it can't be a secret. Yeah, yeah, facts. The voice that you heard come through, Doctor Enoch. Hmm. Yeah, God. The person God. I work for is the man, or I should say, the dragon. The man. The man. The man. Or shall I say, the man? <laughs> we work for the Who's man. the man? You know, <laughs> I'm not working for the, the man. man, dude. I'm out of here. The man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Misery. All right, it's over now. Come on, spill it. Tell me the whole thing. You 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 know way too much now. Come on. I usually you work for this man who uh, possesses people. Go on. He he's a good person. We're trying to figure out how to get the bubble to go away. What bubble? No, I really say the a bitch. sleepers it's live. The, the giant barrier that protects it. That thing is. I mean, got to be wait. removed. What? Oh, hold on. It, it protects it? And you want to remove the bubble that keeps these things inside? No one can get in to stop the sleepers. But they're free to Where'd roam outside out? of the bubble. If they all wake up and they all wander out, the things you faced will come at us in numbers we cannot handle. Oh, I get it. So it's like a one-way exit when it should have been like a one-way entrance? Hmm. Yes. I think we did, they made the bubble to protect themselves. We, we don't know them. what made the bubble. Okay, but the bubble is acting mm. in their benefit, not ours. Precisely. I see. Um, okay. Good. So and we yeah. need the dragon scales, but it, again, you didn't really say who you worked for. Just the man. You wanna clarify that? The yes. dragonborn in the tower. What's his name? Yeah, if, yeah, if you were to give name. him a name. I would call Are him. Are we going to meet him soon? The man. Riz. Okay. Yeah. All right. Player knowledge, character knowledge. Welcome. Why did he possess our friend Doctor Enoch instead of just telling you if he had a message? I don't you know, know. You like work for him and stuff. Did you, what? Did you not know that he contacted? I us? have not Are seen not or talked to him, in a, in a hundred years. Wow, so you, he considers fun. you a real self-starter. <laughs> Needs no guidance to accomplish simple tasks. Yes, yes. Misery can be left unsupervised for 100 <laughs> years. Evaluations are always very good. <laughs> she <laughs> says, wow. "You, uh, if I leave, someone will notice. But you have free reign, obviously. Go to the tower if you get a chance. Sooner than later. Where is this tower? We don't know where it yeah, is. Yeah, we keep was getting it, told about it. Was there a Marauder's map that I don't have? What did uh, Doctor Enoch tell you? He said. Is it meet him at the tower? Meet him at the tower. Don't look back. 
don't look back. He said, um, Oh, is it one of those things where you just don't look oh, back? Wait, and no, just it was, walking, it was eventually when, find you're it? Over, when you're over the mountain, don't look back or something. I don't think that was it. At the end of the rainbow, <laughs> he's yeah. Um, when the when the mountains blow in the breeze, then I you uh at, let's see let's see who gets it who gets to remember it. Um, everyone roll a history check. When the right. lights go down, I'll take ten. In the city, uh, adds uh two. I rolled two. Seven. So Shane got it with a ten. Is that what he said? <laughs> no, I. That, oh, he said he would. I actually did roll a ten. It's funny. Um, there, there's a there's yeah, yeah. an old D and D mechanic which was um, you could take ten on a skill check, which meant that you weren't gonna roll it. You were just going to take the number ten, the the, the average or whatever. Um, but it would just take a long time to do that. So you could like automatically not fail a check, but but it's gonna take twice or three times as long. Okay, so. She says, oh, follow me. And so you walk out back through the opening of this garden. And she kind of points you in a direction where the school's kind of off to the left. And there's just kind of where it leads out into the country because the city is, you know, behind you now, behind the gardens, kind of out to where it faces out to the country. She turns you around to face her. And she says, uh, and you remember this. Look back, but don't turn around. Look back, but don't turn around. Yes. That's what we were told. So look back, but don't turn around. So look at where we came from to get where we are, but don't actually go back there. Is that what that means? Who knows? What do anyway, you do? I say that. I, say I walk that. through the you door. Say... And you're there. <laughs> There's a door? No. No. <laughs> you look like like look over your shoulder kind of thing. That's what that would be like Miss Beasy. It's like what what this doesn't make any sense. Do you do that? Yeah, look over your shoulder, yeah. You look over your shoulder and you see in the va the far, far distance is this extremely tall white tower reaching up into the clouds. And that's where we're in the episode. What the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> That's a cool thing, Devin. When you <laughs> say it like that, no, I'm I saying know. no. I'm saying if if, if I don't, I'm suspicious because I don't know what's up. But if you're saying that there exists this magic tower that you can only find if you one already know about it and two look specifically over your shoulder but without turning your whole body around, that's the only way you can find it. That's very cool, and I love it. It's kind of like the Doctor Who uh, parochial vision aliens. It's just like old yeah. fantasy. It's so fairy tale slick. Nonsense. I love it. I'm actually a big fan. Well, it's, I... it's very Ten Kingdoms. Ten hmm. Kingdom rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big fan. Big fan. Hey, everybody! Thanks for listening to today's episode. I have sponsored you enjoyed by it. big fans. Sponsored by the biggest of fans. Um, you can find but big not fans only at your fans. local big fan store. But not well, only fans. They don't the have only, only fans. fans we have fan a big store. fans. <laughs> don't go to www.lawfulstupidonlyfans.com. Wink. Well, don't select. To be fair, it would a be onlyfans.lawfulstupid.org if we had one. <laughs> That's true. Weird that you know that. Weird flex. Hmm? 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 Somebody out there is the going to that website. Tier. I'm going to put a URL that goes back Bro, to OnlyFans. Register that domain. I'm going to start my own. <laughs> uh, using that, I just have all the free advertising that our episode of Lawful Stupid provides. Speaking of which, Devin, tell us about our competitive advertising rates. Competitive? Oh, um, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> yeah, throw us some money. We'll talk about you good. We good. He's he's a salesman. Hey, if you do want to support us though in a very uh, likable and uh, mundane way, you can go to store.lawfulstupid.org, no, and man. you can get one of these fucking lawful stupid shirts that are super 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 comfy. I got I got the the nightmare train logo on. Nightmare it's real thing. nice. Looks real Woo! good. Very comfy. A spooky ass so you train. Get that. Uh, hey, uh, when's this release in Devin? You know, fuck it, I don't know. Uh, it, you either did 
have your opportunity or or will have an opportunity to get pride shirts and or stickers so i hope that worked out otherwise um that well you, you missed it i hope you got them it turns out this is july uh <laughs> but if you got it it was great you're there's welcome always, there's you always next year next year there's always next year yeah yep that's all that's all i got just want to buy our shit it'd be great I was trying to remember my bit. I was like, what comes next? I was like, oh, which one? Patreon. I guess uh, if you want to like talk to us, or I guess we're going to do Patreon because that's the one that was mentioned. Uh, you should uh, what support our show. What yes, more the money? money we're broke. Since today's <laughs> the money. has no money. <laughs> we're just talking about it all the time now. Uh, just go to patreon.lawforstupid.org right. and come support the show. You get cool shit at one dollar you get to see all our stuff and we get um, and like the fucking secret... dollar idiot. <laughs> i want one dollar i'll it, take four quarters dollar right now it's a hold up give avon your fucking listen dollar. Hey, listen if all of our listeners would just give avon one fucking dollar we'd never have to hear ask dollars. about patreon again yeah that's true if everybody i've seen the analytics if everybody just gives us one dollar we'll set facts <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you'll see cool shit in our Discord as well as on the Patreon sometimes. And, and you can give us uh, your fucking dollars. Yeah, I give want a hundred pennies. Dollars. Do it. One hundred pennies now. You give me ten, ten yeah, dimes, can... motherfucker. Yeah. No, I want a hundred shiny metal. pennies. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be lucky. Anyway. <laughs> Your turn shades off. Hey, fucking give some of those dollars hey, hey, you to a charity. Fucking, hey, Tiggity, you having too many fucking dollars out there. <laughs> Stop giving them to me all the goddamn time and instead give them to charity, you idiot. <laughs> Who are we giving it to this week? I've gotten so mean. Shots RPG. We would give money to them. Duh. Yeah, I don't you like give them 100 pennies. What, <laughs> what's that role? You have Shots RPG. They help people that are having trouble with uh, the people that are their vision impaired. They give them all kinds. They give them source books. They give them dice. They have braille on. It's all kind of great shit, so that they can experience this awesome world that we love so much. And, and, and it's easy for them. They don't have to struggle. It's great. So hey, do that. I just rolled a twelve, so that means twelve of our dollars. Or how many pennies, Avon? I'm pretty sure that's one thousand two hundred. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> like, did what I do the math right? I play with numbers, with numbers all the time, and I don't know it. <laughs> what did you fucking have like an odd number? <laughs> that's right. Thirteen. Two hundred seventy-four. No, no that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Avon. Thirteen. Uh, so give. So I've given twelve of our dollars to them. How many of your dollars did you do? What did you roll? Tell me what you roll. And I'll finish off with a good news story. Again, Ginger, not... welcome. He Devin just did say, and I'll finish. So just You're welcome for that. <laughs> and I'll finish. You're welcome. Uh, fire truck and the story <laughs> here, without diving into <laughs> it, is man who is able to talk backwards stuns strangers on the street. I don't know what he said, and I'm not, we're not going to dive dive into it. But that's what you get. So yeah, uh, what they what they didn't explain is the man who was able to talk backwards was stunning people on the street by billy clubbing them uh, in the back of the head. So they <laughs> were stunned. It's no surprise he's upset though, because what you don't know about that story is that well, why is he on the street? Let's ask that question first. Times are rough yeah. for the backward speaking man. Ever since he got he lost his job, what was his job, ladies and gentlemen? What is he uniquely skilled for? The man who can talk backwards. That's right. He was employed exclusively by the unholy temple of Satan to put <laughs> messages and records. And when, they, when we moved to cassettes, he just his livelihood was just destroyed. <laughs> so he's been out there protesting for years with his club, I, of course. I hoped that you would go there. That's the first thing that came to mind. Is like, it really? Oh it man! Is. Oh man! I'm so glad that we were able to connect him that way. I always think of the. I thought it was so clever for coming up with it, but I don't like this new you. What? <laughs> hey, Bon, what's your part? Where I was mean? No, I moved on. I'm fine. I'm happy and friendly again. <laughs> Everybody's great. Hey, thank you so much, by the way, for if you actually do support the show. Um, thank you so much. Or if you even more so, if you're willing to roll for humanity at the table each week, uh, that means uh, just a ton to me personally. 
Uh, so thank you so much for doing that. It really does mean a lot, and I love and treasure each and every one. I of think you. you're overcorrecting. Now let me recede back into my stage persona. Uh -huh. You fucking idiot! <laughs> suck my hairy cock. Wait a second. Gross. Why is gross? What if this man was just looking for uh, shiny pennies on the ground, and he just stunned people because that's what he felt like doing, so he would get the penny fucking first. Got him. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, exactly. just, Ging, just a monk using the she said strike. penny fucking <laughs> finally <laughs> we can shut down the pod now boys we got it we got it pull out pull out got it in <laughs> one ropes come down from the ceiling <laughs> we all rebel <laughs> Avon's just left in stunned silence <sighs> joke's because on me I'm the man. one that was stunned by the backwards man the backwards man got you <laughs> hey, everybody and he just walks in and he goes <laughs> <laughs> Which translates to uh, we love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, boo. I, I, I love that Avon uh, got tired enough and just hard transitioned oh. out. Way to take control. <laughs>